time for our Women's Health Week segment, and today we're discussing the different facets of heart health. The mitral valve is one of the main valves that leads into the heart, and when that valve leaks, it leads to congestive heart failure. One East Texas hospital is performing a minimally invasive surgery that can repair or replace the valve at a great benefit to the patient. Our Lauren Callahan introduces you to one patient that had the surgery only six weeks ago. We want to warn you though, you'll see a bit of footage from surgery this morning, which may be graphic for some of our viewers. Catherine Goza of Jewett had no idea she was experiencing congestive heart failure. She said she had no family history of heart disease to speak of before she started experiencing symptoms three years ago. To me, I was in perfect health. And then they told me that my cholesterol level was up, and so they put me on, you know, cholesterol medicine. But I kept, feel, you know, just getting indigestion, heartburn. And I guess that was my sign that I was having heart problems. She says she was in the hospital every two to three months and even had a few stents put in to fix the problems. But it wasn't until after she became sick again on her way home from a business trip just a few months ago that she was told her mitral valve was beyond repair and had to be replaced. The mitral valve is the second most common valve that we operated on in the heart. And the reason it's one of the most common valves, it's on the left side of the heart. The left side of the heart is the side that's under a lot of pressure. Dr. Dulab explained that the mitral valve controls the blood that comes into the heart after being oxygenated by the lungs. In mitral regurgitation means your mitral valve leaks. So when your valve, when your heart rather squeezes, the blood goes backwards into your lungs. The heart has to squeeze it again. Your heart's like any other muscle. It works too hard, gets tired. So that's what leads to congestive heart failure. Dr. Dulab was able to replace the valve, not by cracking open Goza's chest, but by making a two inch incision between her ribs. What that helps with is we don't have to wait the six to eight weeks for this breastbone to heal. That's often the biggest limiting factor to getting back to work. Since her surgery on March 21st, Goza says her life has completely changed. She's already driving by herself and went back to work this week. And Dr. Dulab wants women to know that heart disease isn't their husband's disease. We often don't think of it. We think of it as a male uh, centered disease, but women are just as common, just as commonly can have heart problems. So I would encourage you to see your family physician once a year, uh, get your cholesterol checked, have somebody listen to your heart, uh, do all the things that you think your husband should do. For Good Morning East Texas, I'm Lauren Callahan. Now, Mother Francis Hospital in Tyler is one of the few in the country that offers the minimally invasive mitral valve surgery. Doctors say if you've got symptoms like shortness of breath, fatigue, or fluid retention, get it checked out. And Taylor, this is just another example of all the great resources right, right. here in East Texas for women. And take care of your husbands all the time. Take care of yourselves, too. Excellent information, Dee, as always. Thank you so much. And we want to remind you also on Women's Health Week this week, all the stories we've done as part of Women's Health Week are in the big red box portions of KLTV and KTRE.com. If you'll just click on the big red box in the center of the home pages of both those websites and look over on the right-hand side, there's a column that says Women's Health Week, and all the stories we've done will be posted there.